Everybody, Jamie McDonald here. Time for another mirrorless minute. Today's mirrorless minute, we're going to assign an action or a function to one of the function buttons on your mirrorless camera. The function that we're going to assign today is the magnify function. What's the magnify function? It's just what it sounds like. 14 power magnification that you're going to see through your electronic viewfinder. What it's going to do is it's going to help you make, ensure that you've got a really crisp, sharp focus when you're doing anything manual focus, whether it's with an old legacy piece of glass like this or something like the 60 millimeter macro that I've been using a lot lately. Uh, I always want my images to be sharp. I'm sure you do too. Autofocus is great. It's really good on the Mzuiko lenses, but sometimes if you're working with an old piece of glass or again, like I said, macro, where you're really not sure that you got the focus nailed at 14 power magnification, psh, there's no reason not to have it nailed, okay? So let's assign it to one of your buttons, okay? Make sure your camera's on. You're gonna hit your menu button. You're gonna scroll down to the super menu or the gears menu, a lot of people call it. Push over to the right here to jump in there. The second option down says button and dial, and that's what we're looking for. We're gonna assign an action to a button, right? Push over to the right, top selection says button function. We're adding function to the button, right? Okay, here we go. Right at the top here it says function one. That's the function one button. That's what we're gonna assign the action to. Push over to the right one more time, and now you can scroll up and down through the different options. You've got a ton of different options you can assign. Uh, auto exposure lock, you can set it to do white balance off of that one button. The very first one I set for me personally is the magnify. I love the magnify feature. I use it a lot. So once you've got the, the action set that you want, which is magnify for us, just hit OK. It's now assigned to function one. Hit the menu button a couple of times to back on out and you're ready to shoot. So the way this works is you're gonna pull the camera up to your eye. You're going to hit the function button once. And when you hit it the first time, you're gonna see the green uh, autofocus square pop up and it's in the center of the screen. That autofocus square, anything inside of that is what is gonna be magnified 14 times. So that's what you wanna use is that. So, I love traffic going by when I'm recording. How cool is that? High production value, folks. All right, camera up to your eye. Function button one time. You get the green focus square. Push the function button one more time. Your screen is filled up with whatever was inside of that box. From there, you're just gonna fine tune your focus and finish taking your, uh, your exposure. It's as easy as that. Again, the uses for this are, for me, uh, legacy glass. It's fun to shoot with old glass sometimes. I've actually got some lenses that are like 60 years old that I've adapted to fit my cameras. Uh, no way I'm gonna get autofocus from those, right? Or for macro, uh, you're, lots of times you're gonna shoot like F10 or something like that or, or higher so that you can get like a great depth of field. Even with f-stops like that, at one-to-one -one magnification, you're going to find that your that your the region of focus, your field of view, is still extremely narrow. So by flipping on magnify and manually feathering in that focus, you're guaranteed to get great shots for macros. There you have it, folks. Mirrorless minute. As my oldest would say, Dad, those are mirrorless minutes because you don't stop talking and you're talking for way more than a minute. So maybe the next one will be mirrorless minutes. Um, in the meantime. Drop in, give me a thumbs up. If you think I'm a dork, give me a thumbs down. I still love you. And uh, comment, give me some ideas what you wanna see. I've already had one commenter say that they want live bulb. That's probably coming up next if I can figure out a way to light this mug up in the middle of the night so I can show you how live bulb works. But in the meantime, take care.